See, if you stay far enough back, uh, they're unlikely to hit you enough to actually you know, kill you. Stay here and heal. The pattern is starting to make sense. I think I'm close to finding the exit. Uh oh, I've got bogeys. Heads up, boys, wherever you are. Yep. There when he got. Ha! Huh, totally inverted. Okay, I'm through. Send a signal we can track you with. I'll try, but it might not work. The last portal I entered was at the top of a long flight of steps. Okay. Look out for steps. Uh, I don't think we can go that way. Inverted room. Okay. Now the last artifact for this level is right here. And that's all six. So we'll start with Featherware's stalking chair. Circa 1976, Nate Featherwell, aspiring ventriloquist, had big dreams. But not much talent. He spent his life savings on a charm from a voodoo priestess. When used correctly, the spell would bring wood to life. Nate hoped to use it to charm his dummy, Smuggy, but accidentally worked his spell on the chair he sat on instead. The chair, alive but ignored, grew jealous of the attention Featherworth lavished on the inanimate Smuggy and did away with him while both did away with him both in a rage fueled wood chipper accident. The chair slipped away unnoticed and remains at large to this day. Circuit nineteen seventy five. While surveying the contents of seventeen crates of old stock photographs he bought as at as a lot at an auction, calendar publisher Werner Gishman came across a treasure trove of photos, a 20-year collection of ravishing pinups of parade queens from New York's Thanksgiving Day parades. Gishman recognized the gold mine he stumbled upon, and a nostalgic pinup craze was sweeping the nation in 75, and he rushed to print the collection as a 16-month calendar. What Gishman didn't know was that the photos, when arranged in a certain order, deciphered a code that points towards the true origin of the devil. An origin that, as it turns out, is far less impressive, impressive as most people think. Forsworn to protect this secret for untold generations, the dark cultist sect, the vigilant legion of the Black Pit, realized the calendar had reached door shelves too late to stop it. In a last-ditch effort to keep the code secure, the vigilant legion cast a spell over all the crates of calendars so that the pages would flip and switch constantly. As it turned out, nobody was really interested in parade queens from the 50s and 60s, and the calendar sold less than a dozen copies. The Vigilant Legion bought up most of them, and Gishman gave the rest to friends and family at Christmas. Embarrassed by their alacrity, the Vigilant Legion of the Black Pit murdered them all anyway, just to be thorough. Circa 1256, antique carpet imbued with the power of flight by minor Persian magus Ali e Balu. On its maiden flight around his palace, the rug dipped erratically, and the corpulent Eli El Balu tumbled off while more than 90 feet in the air. He died instantly on impact. Circa 1959, celebrated novelist Arthur Houston conceived and conducted research for his new books at, the library, at this library table, under this lamp, for over 30 years. Severe writer's block gripped him in his 60s and wouldn't let go. Houston's psychic frustration channeled to the lamp and resides there now, refusing to let anyone read under its light. Circa 1923, Eleanor Twitty, head of the New York Public Library, Special Collections, was murdered by her lover, the, the, oh, excuse me, Whew. the logilist Edmund Hoover, when she denied him further access to special collections. Hoover was later revealed to be as an incorrigible serial killer and was executed by the state. Twitty is memorialized as a dedicated librarian that gave her life protecting the books she so dearly loved. Circa 1957, originally owned by self-proclaimed wizard and prankster Franklin Laffy Worst, Worst felt that the famous whoopee cushion gag, while amusing, needed an update. He supposedly summoned a sub-demon and bound it to the chair, then invited an obnoxious dinner guest to have a seat. To their eventual horror and embarrassment, Worst was shot and killed by a particularly tem temperamental victim. Okay, that's all the artifacts for this level. 
Let's finish it. Made it out too. Hey, champ. We won't leave until you find us. Look for the long staircase. The exit portal is at the very top. Hey, a staircase. You have to be very careful here because... Books! The best thing you can do is kind of take it slow. Keep moving, sport. You sure don't want to be trapped in here. Take it slow, kind of run to the side. Any books you destroy, uh, the uh, books will circle back around, but they do not regenerate, so as you destroy them, you make your a path, you make the path wider for yourself. So you probably want to do your best to actually destroy as many of these books as you can. Shot glasses can be very good here. Alright. I said watch out. Recruit, I had some trouble getting to the portal. Use the slime feather to bring the portal to you. Ah! Try, certainly. Okay. Come on. Eight, where's next? More slime tethers. Bye bye, Ghost World. One thing you gotta say, they made some impressive environments. I do for this like game. what they've done with the place here. But I hope that portal would have taken us back to the library. Actually, we are back in the public library. The dimensional membrane must be extremely thin here. Someone's holding us here. The Collector. Yes, Azatlor wants to add to his collection, and he's probably not too happy about us taking the Gozerian Codex with us. Oh yeah? What can a twisted little bookworm do to scare us? Why do you vocalize these things? Twitty for it when he was alive, and a dozen others just to cover it up. Hey, Collector! We're taking your book! What do you think about that? Why must you antagonize the ghosts? Ah, uh, he's right behind me, isn't he? Yes, I think you got his attention, Ray. Oh, boy. I think we've pissed him off. Come on, I'm he's take resisting a my proton screen! Look, his face is protected by black slime. You know what that, that means? That must be the key! Hey, Junior, switch out your nozzle and hose him down! Spray it down. Neutronize the black slime on his mask. I expect to get knocked down a lot, a lot, lot, lot in this. There's really, as far as I know, no good way to uh, avoid his attacks. The best advice I can give you is try to stay clean. Stay kind of away from we need to clear your the black other slime Ghostbusters. Use the slime blower kit. There it goes. Woo! Stay away from the other Ghostbusters if you can. And Use the capture stream to rip off his mask. Ah. And any 
time one of them gets knocked down, pick them up immediately. Help me wrangle this. Ah! He got help me hold it open. Yeah, that did it. Oh no, he should just expose his angry side. Bring him down all the way. Concentrate on the eye if you can. He's got nothing that can resist the proton stream. Hit him in the eye. We've almost got him. Maybe. This is the first, I think, real semi-difficult boss of the game. Damn it, Ray. Let's look at Azit lore. Uh, weakness, proton stream. Eh. Please stop shooting book at us, book bats. Up there. Help here. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, yes. Okay, good. Got trouble. Pick me up, pick me up. So I can go get Ray. Need some help here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. This is not good. Help! No, no game over! They got me, they got me! No! Fine. We'll try this again. I kept getting turned around in the room. If you wait long enough, the Ghostbusters like done. actually will get up on their own. That includes you. Play it with the slime. He's resisting my proton screen. Look, his face is protected by black slime. That must be the key. Hey, Junior, switch out your nozzle and hose him down. Damn it, Egon. Neutronize the black slime on his mask. Don't stand in front. You know what? It's clear. The Classic wow rules. Do not stand over. in the black stuff. Yeah, that did it. Oh no, I think we just exploded the angry side. Bring him down all the way. Concentrate on the eye if you can. He's got nothing that can resist the proton stream. I guess I'm a little more sturdy than the other Ghostbusters. Get up, Ray. He's out of control. Blast him in the eye. Look, I think it's working. Ow. Get up. No. Like I said, this is the first real semi-difficult boss of the game. <laughs> He's irritating because you have a really small target to shoot. Oh. He's resisting face. my on Look, his face is protected by black slime. That must be the key. Hey, Junior, switch up your nozzle and hose him down. Neutronize the black slime on his mask. I'm trying. It's clear. Come on. Come on. Get off. 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 Oh, Sit. It's on your lap. Egon, help me hold it open. Yeah, that did it. Your mask oh, no. is mine. He just his angry side. Bring him down all the way. Concentrate on the eye if you can. He's got nothing that can resist the proton screen. Yeah, he has. He's called killing us. Thank you. 
bunch of them! Oh. Come on. Come in, Ray. Don't question it, Rook. Just blast the glowing part. I'm not questioning it. I'm trying to keep you two jokers alive. Your jokes. And comedy. And I've got a god trying to murder me. Yeah, good job, too. Swarm. I'm hit! I'm hit! Get up. Ah. You get, get up the too! You got. Now. No! So close! Get up! Damn it! Wait to the right, kid! He doesn't have eyes! Stay on him! Hit the eye with everything you've got! Hold on. I'm coming, Ray. But you somehow ended up way over here. Hit him in the eye. You've almost got him. Why are you chasing me? He's out of control. Blast him in the eye. Look, I think it's working. Oh, God. Don't question it, Look, Just blast the glowy part. some of this, jerk. You know, in the uh, footage I shot before, I actually did this on my first try. Almost got him. There. We need to get out of here. Why was he laughing? There's a new portal back here. Come on, Rook. That's got to be the way out. Guys! Where are you guys? 